Did you did you struggle at all with meaning in, in your life? Like, and I asked this because when Robert Plant was in the show, he said when he left the band, he was young and he's like, now what do I do? Yeah. And money doesn't make a difference. It's like, what do I do? Well, and that's the thing. It, WWE left me with the luxury that at 37, I was like, okay, I'm fine. I was never stupid. I, I drive a Jeep, you yeah. know, that, that's just me. But uh, I saw so many instances throughout the years of guys that could not grasp how to deal with after. And I always thought the two most important things, if they could give a class to people coming into that industry on how to manage your money yeah. um, and keep it all in check. You know, I always introduced myself as Adam from day one. I was yeah. never Edge. Edge, you know, was a character. Did you introduce yourself, I'm, I'm one half of sex and violence? No. Which was also no. yours. I, I might have said I'm sex and hardcastle once. <laughs> did you say, hold on, did you say to a girl and was it at a bar? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it was. Probably. So, yes, yeah, so, but, but you recognize early? I, I recognize very early. And then as I knew my career was coming closer and closer, you know, to the end, I was like, I got to wrap my mind around this because I don't want to be that guy like, you know, Mickey Rourke and The Wrestler or, or you see so many instances. I was like, that's not going to be me. Um, but it sneaks up on people. It does. It does. And I can see how it does because here's the thing with this industry. For 20 years... I was edged to people. Not like Johnny Depp who plays eight characters a year. You don't go up to him and say, Edward Scissorhands, how are you? Yeah. You know, be careful shaking his hand. Like, right. you just don't do that. It, but with us, you know, I am edged to a large majority of the population, and I always will be. I've learned to accept that, but I'm Adam.